So it seems that I'm one of the few gamers out there that actually like Star Wars Outlaws. I don't just like it. I'm here to declare that it's probably the best Star Wars game that I've ever played. And I pretty much played them all. And I'm also here to call all other reviews bullshit. Because I've been playing this game for about 30 hours so far. And I haven't even scratched the surface. I mean there's just so much to explore and see. Missions to do. These guys had to have rushed through it just to get the story done for their review. And that goes for all games they review. So you shouldn't trust reviewers. Trust yourself. I did. And I'm having a blast with this game. So this is not going to be a review. What I'm going to do is show you different moments I had in this game that reminded me why I love Star Wars. First of all, the writing is great. You actually connect with the characters, especially Kay Vess. They make her very relatable. With his rep, you probably planned it. Possible. What, you don't trust Jalen's people? I don't trust anyone. Ah, not even me? That's fair. The space combat is awesome. It's not overly complicated, which makes it more fun. Here, I'm fighting a couple of TIE fighters. Oh, come on! Stealth is not overly complicated. Again, they focus on fun. But if you do get caught, you can always use your blaster. Some missions require silence, but so long as the alarms don't ring, you're good to blast your way through. Riding a scooter throughout these worlds is just pure fun. Here I have a basic setup so I couldn't really get away from these pikes. But I have a bounty on me so they're coming after me. What I wanted to show you was this pike hitting the rock and just exploding. More? Oh, I should really work on my rep before they send another squad. I also love just sightseeing. For example, this cook, he's actually chopping up that meat and he actually puts it in the pot. Like the little details are just awesome in this game and it's everywhere around you. Besides the main missions, most of the side missions you get organically by just interacting with the world. Did you bring Thornton's itinerary? I couldn't take the risk. I stashed it at the outpost south of Jaunter's Hope. That's not what we agreed. You say that like it's easy. Very well. We'll be on our way. So, we're done. My debt's paid. It's paid when we say it's paid. It's also pretty sweet that you can see all these animals in the Star Wars world, and you can actually pet them. And it gets your little guy Nick's jealous sometimes. How you doing, big guy? Speaking of Nyx, you can actually upgrade his abilities by eating different dishes in different worlds. And it's actually a small mini game, and here I'm gonna show you two different ones. I didn't know this until I actually sat down just to Hi, order I'll food. <laughs> You first. <laughs> 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 
the bond between K and Nyx is so strong, you actually believe that they love each other. Goodbye. And it's fun seeing all the different Star Wars characters, like the Jawas doing their thing. I haven't found any Ewoks yet. Here we got these crazy creatures. I forgot what their names are. The shooting is simple but fun. It's not overly complicated. You can upgrade your blaster to have different types of bullets coming out and you can also pick up the enemy weapons. You can't keep them though, which is a bummer. Whew, that was lucky. giant trading caravan one of the best parts is exploring this star wars world this caravan wasn't even on the map i was just exploring and happened to come across it and there's just so much of that in this game i like that it's curated and not generated hey. now out of 30 hours i've only found four bugs here the grass doesn't quite line up, that's I guess you consider a bug or just, I don't know, laziness or they missed it. In this clip, this wind tunnel blew me into the rock and I couldn't get out. Here, a bad guy got stuck in the wall and was doing the chicken dance. In this clip, there's a floating bush. And in this last clip, we have a couple of characters sitting in air. Now, I've been playing this game for 30 hours, and these are the only glitches or bugs that I found. And I actually like to find bugs, but so far, this game is built pretty solid. This game really reminds me of Uncharted and Koltar put together. Uncharted for the exploration and the type of combat, but Koltar for the type of lore and exploration that you have to do in the game. And surprisingly, I don't miss playing as a Jedi. I don't miss a lifesaver. I mean, I like the game for what it is. It's an awesome action adventure game set in a Star Wars world. And if you're a true Star Wars fan, you owe it to yourself to play it. <laughs> 